Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading for September 2022. This is a general love reading for Taurus. However, cross-watchers are also welcome. Keep in mind that the roles of the individuals or energies identified in this reading may be swapped and that the intensity of the energy or situation may vary. So take with you whatever resonates and leave behind for others whatever does not. So here in this first column, we look at your love vibrations, the energy you're putting out there in the environment and receiving. In this second column, we look at your connection to your body and your senses, specifically with respect to sensual pleasure. In this third column, we reveal potential for romance this month. And in this last column, we get advice from your yourself about love and for for those of you interested in getting messages about uh, the thoughts of your current or future love interests then I'll be closing off the reading with some messages on that so here your love vibration for September, you have the whale, magnificence, compassion, history. So here there is um, a message that you have a lot of impact on your environment and that there is a lot of history that you may be carrying with you that affect the energy that you're putting out there with respect to love. You have the Five of Swords, it says defeat on the card. You have your Major Arcana card of the Hierophant, and you have the Six of Swords transition. So Taurus, it seems that, you know, as you, as you are kind of moving forward in life, there is um, some conflicts, some lack of stability in some area of your life that is affecting the, you know, love energy that you are able to put out there. There's a sense of trying to do things or um, kind of to stick to what works not really try to mix things up too much. Um, almost a sense of recognizing that, you know, some aspects that you've tried in the past maybe haven't worked and just sticking to the basics is what will, will benefit you. Um, some things, you know, if there's something with competition, or a sense of, you know, maybe um, past disappointment when it comes to love. But here it's, it's a sense of really needing to let, let your ego go and really come from the whole, you know, the whole situation, look at it at a place of compassion, regardless if you think it's your fault, someone else's fault, um, because whatever you're holding on to, it's not really allowing you to see that there's something better and greater for you out, out there waiting. So let's take a look at this Five of Swords here, Taurus. You have the Page of Swords, and that sen tends to be a sense of, you know, immaturity, um, a sense of really just being all over the place and frantic and kind of throwing things out there and seeing what sticks. Let's see 
here in the Six of Swords. You have the King of Wands here. So, Taurus, it may be that you were, you know, um, hurt by someone you see as being, um, you know, your dream other, uh, someone that you really thought was the, the cat's meow, really going far in life and kind of trying to move on without this person. Let's see about the Hierophant here. You have the Five of Cups, another five. Sense, again, of instability and conflict. So it's a sense of really, um, you know, taking a look at what happened, uh, not being stuck in the past, but also not trying to avoid it. Taking a look, healing from it, um, you know, getting support of your community or a counselor, someone who can help you to help you recognize that you are um, a magnificent being and you have love to give um, and to receive. But at this point, it's almost a reminder to kind of be compassionate towards yourself and um you know, kind of let others help you get out of out of your own mind with this. So here, in terms of the connection to your body and your senses, you have this Crete Myrtle, life, death. So this is a card of really a, a transformation, a need to really let go of something in order to let something new come in. You have the Prince of Desks, which is the equivalent to the Knight of Pentacles. It says reliability. The Emperor and the Star. So here, when it, in terms of kind of, you know, your connection to your your body, Taurus, you, your element is Earth, and so is uh, the pentacles, but you can see here, this individual is completely covered in armor and the shield as well. So it seems there's a disconnect from your body, um, your senses, truly feeling pleasure. So here you can see the star, this individual is completely nude. There's nothing that separates this body from this uh, water here, which is complete expo exposure to emotions. And with the emperor here, it is a sense of, you know, a sense of control and power and authority. So it's as if over here in your energy, you're trying to have this, this naive approach to, um, you know, looking at a situation or thinking about a situation from your past that puts you in a position of maybe victory in your mind, but it's a false sense of victory. And it's almost a sense of that has kind of hardened um, your ability to tap into your body, your senses, um, and to really kind of really heal from this. So it's a sense of needing to let something go. Let's take a look at the star down here. You have the six of wands and here, this is a sense of feeling good, um, being celebrated by those around you, a sense of, of harmony. And uh, here you have the Six of Swords. Sixes are about trying to get some harmony and stability. And it seems when it comes to really enjoying your surroundings, your environment, there is a need to heal from here in order to kind of to, 
to feel that success that in your body again. So let's take a look at the Prince of Discs up here. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And this is a card of putting in the work, putting in hard work, feeling the rewards of that. Um, so the Knight of Pentacles, similar to the Nine of Pentacles, someone reliable, someone who works hard and should actually enjoy you know what they create so there is there is something there for you to tap into pleasures rewards um, for you to enjoy but something needs to be let go of let's take a look at the emperor you have the two of wands and there's a, a need to make a decision on, you know, are you going to get out of whatever comfort zone you're in and really explore your, your body, your sensations, your, what is pleasurable to you, or are you just going to, um, you know, stick with what you already know? So here, in terms of potential for romance, you have this friendship card. So for some of you, there's an indication that whatever romance you're going for, it'll have to start with friendship or it'll end in friendship. I guess for some of you, it'll start with friendship and some of you, it'll just end in friendship. Okay, so you have High Priestess, Strength card, and the Two of Wands again, and it says planning. So here there is a sense of, um, you know, two sides of a situation. It could be that you're trying to approach a situation as a friend and trying to sense, trying to feel whether or not um, there's potential for more. But here it's a sense of, you know, with the high priestess, um, there's an indication that, you know, you, you might need to uh, let things go a little bit to be more in touch with your, your I guess, your sixth sense, your sense of, uh, you know, tapping into that intuition, um, trying to connect on a different level with someone. And also, to some degree, your mind is kind of preoccupied, but ultimately, ultimately, you know, maybe if you have some some courage, things can go in a different direction. Um, but it does require kind of accepting who you are, accepting um, the parts that you think are good and the parts that you you think aren't so good. So let's take a look at that strength card here. You have the Knight of Wands. So here, you know, this may be, um, may be a Leo coming into your life or a Leo that you are trying to get the attention of or um, any of the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or it's a, you know, for some of you, it's a sense that you need to kind of step up into your courage and take a chance. Let's take a look at the High Priestess here. You have the King of Cups. So here it's, you know, for you to really tap into that, that intuition, that inner knowing, you're going to need to really jump into that emotion, kind of like how this individual is fully immersed uh, in the water here in the star. But here, the King of Cups also has the emotional, um, like able to uh, study their emotions because they have that, you know, solid throne of, of an emperor. 
So let's take a look at this two wands down here. You have the Queen of Cups. Okay. So here there, there looks like there is potential, Taurus, in terms of romance. But really, it seems like coming from a place of honesty, of, you know, basic trust and connection on a friend level, um, to kind of see when you strip away all the you know, passion, lust, um, you know, ego, can you connect on a real deep emotional supportive place, you know, on that level? So here in terms of advice from your higher self regarding your love life, you have this card of sacred convergence. So here it's a sense that there's an opportunity for you to learn from discomfort, learn from others around you. There might be situations that we don't like, um, situations that we feel we didn't get the, or we feel we got like the, the shitty end of the deal, honestly. Um, but there's an opportunity to not necessarily not necessarily push those people away or to push those situations away but just to observe and learn from it so you have here the four of wands the three of swords and the king of swords here it says it says authority sorrow so to some degree, you know, maybe, Taurus, you are trying to be a little bit, you know, more hardened and stubborn about something. And in that process, really not healing something from your past. You know, here, the three swords, it only takes one sword through the heart to really cause some serious damage. With three injuries to the heart, you might need to attend to each wound at a different time. You know, maybe initially there is upset, and then later there's regret, and then much later there is guilt or shame or, um, you know, disappointment, something along those lines. But really, it seems that, you know, certain people come into your life for good reasons. You have the celebration card. And then, you know, sometimes things don't work out the way we expect. And then we, we get hurt. And really, you know, whether you've looked, you either have been this kind of more cut and dry king of swords type of authority or, you know, figure over your love life, or if you need to be more reasonable and kind of see how the experience can solve, you know, problems in the love department going forward, either which way, there is um, a call for you to really learn from you know, the discomfort of the people that you bring into your life or the discomfort it brings from having incorporated people into your life. Let's take a look at the Three of Swords. You have the Five of Swords, which was over here again. So those seem really tied together. It's this false sense of victory. So let's take a look at the King of Swords here. You have the world card. So it's an opportunity for you to kind of close off one story and start a new storyline. So let's take a look at the four of wands here. You have the two of swords. So here it's, you know, um, 
it's kind of like damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you don't try, then you don't have the opportunity of finding that connection with someone. And if you do try, there is that potential that it won't be the happy um, you know, love connection that you hope for. And it might be that it is the happy love connection that you hope for, but only for you and not for them. So here it's, it does seem that you need to make the, the decision here of how are you going to approach this? Are you going to, um, you know, are you going to put up so many boundaries that you're not letting anything in or out? Or are you going to uh, kind of step, step into a different story where you learn from your past and it helps you to, you know, meet the next great love of your life? So let's go ahead and pull three cards to get a message about what your current or your future love interest is kind of thinking. You have this take flight, twin flames, and adapt. So Taurus, what I'm kind of getting from this is, you know, really there is a need for you to kind of rise above the situation and really see it for what it was. And you're going to be, you're going to meet people in your life that are, you know, you're drawn to them. They're drawn to you and they serve different purposes in life, different lessons that you learn from them. And regardless of the, you know, the ride that you take with those people, you need to, you need to adjust and adapt to the situation, figure out what you learn from it and decide, you know, when you're ready to go on that, that next ride, are you, <laughs> are you going to go on the ride? Are you going to bring like a, a, a bag with you in case you get sick? Are you just going to walk away for the ride? Or, you know, maybe try, try different types of rides. So I'm hoping that this provides a helpful perspective of love for you in the month of September. To uncover more about your month, check out readings for each of your sun, moon, and rising signs. See you next time. Take care.